Hello gents, I'm back again and today I have another Vauxhall Corsa C, 56 plate. This is actually my car, as you can see it's a right old banger, it's done nearly, oh, it's done 148,000 miles. It's really rough around the edges but it's my car, I like it, it does the job, it stops, starts, goes, so that's all I need. And um, so yeah, today I've got what I've actually repair wise uh, as I've noticed when I'm driving along there's a really loud knocking noise coming from both front wheels as I'm going over bumps in the road and I suspect it's possibly the anti-roll bar links that need replacing so I thought I oh, might as well just make a video out of it and just show you guys how easy it is to do anti-roll bar links on a Vauxhall Corsa C this is I'm just guessing at the moment it might not be that but I'm going to jack it up just check any play in the wheels and then I can check the anti-roll bar links as well to see if they're worn out but Anyway, I'm going to get it jacked up, put on axle stands, and I'll uh, see you in a bit. Right, so as you can see there, I've got the vehicle jacked up. Obviously, use axle stands when you're doing this. Always got to use them. I've just uh, buzzed the front wheels off, and it's quite apparent. I've just literally sprayed these up with a bit of WD-40 to help getting the anti-roll bar links off, but they're just held on by literally a nut down there. And then at the top there and i just to test these i just usually grab the actual link and i can feel you can actually hear that at the bottom there how much play there is at that joint so that's what's giving me the racket inside the car when i'm going under bumps because that's just knocking like that so uh so these definitely do need replacing and the other one on the other side is exactly like this one too so they're both completely shot and need changing so but I did, when I, did, uh, when I jacked the vehicle up, I did obviously grab the wheel and check for any play, like grab the wheel at left and right and up and down. I did have a little bit of play side to side that could suggest, I think in this car, it's more so play in the rack because these tie rod ends here ain't really that old. So I'm pretty sure I've just got a bit of play in this actual arm here behind this gator. There's like a, another ball joint, so there's play in there. So I'll just address that the other, another day. It's not really that bad at all, but so yeah, I'm just gonna go forward and change these anti-roll bar links. And it's a really, really easy job. I'll just show you how to. And I had a right result because what made me actually think about doing this anyway, obviously the noise in the car, but I thought I was clearing out the garage the other day and I actually found some anti-roll bar links for this car because I changed some lower arms on my girlfriend's car. She has a Vauxhall Corsa C2. Changed some lower arms on her car and these come with the kit. So I had these lying around anyway. So happy days, this job literally has cost me nothing. So, perfect. Right, so I've uh, just started to crack off these nuts that hold the anti-roll bar link on. These on my car are a 19 mil nut and you can get behind with a 16 mil spanner, I'll show you, and actually stop the thing from spinning. Otherwise, if you try undoing that, a whole lot spins. Look, so you hold the inner bit of a spanner and you undo that nut. These sometimes, my ones are 19 mil, you sometimes they're 18 mil, it just depends. Sometimes they're a mil up or down, just depending on the manufacturer. But I've just cracked these off, so I've just put a spanner there and then got a 19 mil ratchet spanner. Well, these ones are quite tight, so I had to use the old uh, big half inch of an 18, of a 19 mil socket on there. And again, I've just cracked off the one at the below there as well. So I've just cracked the nuts off, hold it with a 16 mil spanner, and I'm just gonna gun her off. off there so you can see it's nice and easy this one i'm having to do my ratchet spanner can't get my gun behind there As you can see, the link's now removed. There it is, oh, that just flew off there. And when they're off, it's even more evident how much that, that's worn out there. And you can see what's happened is it's just been water ingress and it's just worn out the ball joint. 
it's nice on these ones that you have two flats there for the 16 mil to hold the inner edge because sometimes they don't and then as you say as you see earlier it would just spin so what you can do is you can just get a pair of mole grips if you're changing this anyway um, you can get a pair of mole grips and just try and grip onto this whilst you undo the nut but um, do be careful if you do need to reuse the anti-roll bar link if you're taking it off for another repair and not changing it or not replacing it rather because you can destroy this boot if you put some mole grips on there so do be careful but that's it it's nice and easy just time to put the new one on and tighten it up so here we have a new anti-roll bar link there I like to just check to make sure they are the right size and uh, it's nice to see I've got new nuts as well and again these ones have got two flats there so it's going to make installation a lot more easier because I can just hold that with the spanner and easily tighten up the nut there so it's nice and easy so I'm just going to put this on there and tighten up the nuts just put in the top section in first and then just simply put the thread down in the bottom there Right, so probably be easy if I straighten up the wheel, but like that. See it. Put the new nuts on. Let's see. And then it would just be a simple case of tightening up these nuts and holding the intersection with the 16 mil spanner. And it's easy as that. And these anti-roll bar links, by the way, are not sided, so do check to see if they maybe are, but my ones ain't, so it's nice and easy. Uh, this is the bottom one all tight, by the way, this, then, this inner section changed to a 17mm, that's what I mean. Sometimes different brands, they use different sizes on the inner section and sometimes different size nuts, but it's easy peasy, just, just check. There we go, the top nut tightened up. With a gun, you usually find you don't have to hold the intersection when doing them up because it's just uh, it does it up so quick that the actual uh, friction within the ball joint can hold it still whilst the nut can then just do itself up. Not all the time, but that's what I usually find what happens. And that is it. It's easy as that. So it's a new anti-roll bar link. And if you can see, pulling that, there's no play in that whatsoever. So that is going to cure the knocking noise. I have had inside the car, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side and then uh, wrap it up. So I'm now on the other side, as you can see I've just undone the bottom bit, just going to just buzz off the top nut now. Nice little spanner jammed itself up there, that was nice and handy. Do this one handed, otherwise I would have held the spanner and that's it. Only roll bar links off, and this one is way worse than the other side. You can see here the actual gaiters split there. Water ingress has caused obviously the lubricant to dry up or just will be washed out with the rain. And there's so much play in here. Let's try not to do this one hand, but it's hard to see on camera. But there is, if you can hear that, how much play there is in the ball joint. So. That was probably getting close to actually popping out. I've seen these actually before where the only rail bar link is actually, it's just a, this section left is that's attached to the car. This bit's completely popped away and just swing in and can be quite dodgy if it can actually get in the way of a brake hose or something like that. So I do, um, if you have got a, a very bad knocking noise, it is quite, you know, I would look into it as soon as possible because it could end up breaking something if something else pops off or especially if it's the lower control arm you can get a knocking noise and it can be the ball joint in here that is quite dangerous if that gets really bad as well so do get it checked out but it's nice and easy this one being anti-roll bar links and that's that both nuts are now tight on the other side and as you can see there absolutely no play there at all so if you compare that to how it was this one it's a much, much better, and that will cure my knocking noise in the car when I'm going over bumps. So it is literally as easy as that. Just two nuts to hold the link on. Take it off, put the new one on, do the two nuts up. I didn't bother talking anything up. Obviously, if you're, if you're concerned, then you can look up for a talk spec, but I'll just do these nuts tight. Never had a problem. And that's it. Easy peasy. So that is how to do anti-roll bar links on a Vauxhall Corsa C. 
whilst I've uh, got the front jacked up, I'm just going to jack up the rear and do a tyre rotation whilst I'm here because I did put two or four brand new tyres on this and I'm just going to do a rotation so they all wear evenly. But yeah, nice and easy job. Right, and that's that, gents. All four wheels are back on and torqued up. And uh, so what I've done was, I've done a tyre rotation, as I just said. So I I've, um, I've put the near side rear on the offside front and the offside rear on the near side front. These tyres, they're, uh, they're not directional or anything like that. So you can do that. We'll see, just move the front tyres to the rear, rear. So at least I'll get a bit of even wear, seeing as I did put four new tyres on it. And uh, anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video of replacing the anti-roll bar links. As you see, it was very, very easy. Literally just two nuts and uh, the link comes off. And uh, yeah, so that should hopefully, if you do have a knocking noise on the underside of the vehicle coming from the front when going over bumps, it could be the anti-roll bar links, but do get everything else checked, like the lower arm and the track wheel ends checked, because if they've got play in them, they could turn into something dangerous. So anyway, gents, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, that's that. Lovely day to do it today. Can't believe it's 21st of February and the weather is gorgeous. It's giving me a hint of spring. So anyway, gents, see you in the next one.